This is what we're having for dinner tonight. Stuffed bell peppers. So I have a friend of ours, Scored, he's over at the Sprouts. These are naturally organic. These are the really big giant ones. But um, we're going to have onions, some jalapeno from our garden, and a little bit of garlic. And Margaret's cooking the 92% real hamburger meat. And it's ham with a little fat. And over here in the old nuker box, we have some jasmine rice, babe? Yes. We have some jasmine rice cooking and stuff with the meat and the bell peppers. So what'd you get? You got what? A little cayenne. Got to sprinkle a little cayenne on it. You can see it's not that much. Oh, what, about a quarter teaspoon? About that. Who's next? Pepper. And a little bit more garlic powder. I see there's not much, there's not much fat in here. A lot of the liquid that you're seeing is cooking up from the onions and the vegetables that we put in it. But this is why Bay uses the high grade grass fed cow. Now the rice is done, so what are you going to do now, babe? Well, i got to let it cool down so I can mix it with the hamburger. And then, we're going to cut the tops of these bell peppers and we're going to stuff them. As you can see, my grape juice is do burn. <laughs> <laughs> That's only if you put it in a microwave that doesn't have the turntable. If it doesn't move, if it just sits still, it'll burn. Okay, so the rice and the meat mixture is mixed together, right? Yep. There we go. What do you got there? Basil from the garden. And it's uh, the basil flowers that we're going to put in the food. See, it's all finely ground up. We'll just do a little bit more. This has some leaves in it. This is the stuff that we grew last year. Yes, it is. Oh, man, he smells really good. Um, this is Thai basil, by the way. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's Margaret in her magic pantry box over there. Where your city is, but you're normally grocery stores here in Phoenix. They have these stickers on the fruit. The ones that start with 4,000 are usually organic. Any, like 9,000 or whatever comes from the west side out there, but usually the ones that start with 4,000 are organic. So basically, we're going to cut the lids off. And then we're going to clean out the insides. There's one. There's a little baby one that came out of one of the bell peppers. <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess. That was the oven telling us that it's preheated and it's ready to go. Right on time, huh, Bear? Yes. Well, that's three big fat red bell peppers stuffed and ready to go, right? So that's in the oven, 350. For how long, Bay? About 30 to 45 minutes. And now it's time to wait. Uh, here we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, they're sizzling. I can hear it. Here, here. Mm. You gonna let them rest for a few minutes, babe? You can oh, look if you at want. That. Oh, it smokes. Man, I said this before, but they, they really do need smell of vision. <laughs> They've been in the oven now for about what 20 minutes or so, 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Alright, babe. Looks good to me. Let's They're eat. done. Alright, let's eat. Margaret's secret ingredient right here. What nobody knows is that there's this little Mexican restaurant down the street where we live at. It's called Norteños. And they have they make this seriously good ass little <laughs> chili sauce. I don't even know what it's called, but this is Margaret's secret ingredient right here. You pour it, that's that's why we make it this way, because you pour this stuff on top. Oh man, it is so good. All the spices just come out and just, oh, wake your mouth up. It's awesome. You love it this way, don't you? Yes. So you're sitting here wondering if it really is good. Aren't you? I mean, look at it. 
This stuff is serious. Alright. Alright, pepper, yeah.